Should you get the iPhone SE in 2021? Yes! I'm joking. Yes, actually. It's actually a really good phone. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, this is my review of the iPhone SE. Now this is like every iPhone nowadays. It's just the sides. Uh, makes you feel like you're gonna drop it because it's just, it's too smooth. So like, it's very easy to drop it. Um, now this one doesn't have a full screen, so it has the bezels. But to be honest, I don't know why everybody on the internet really hate it. Um, to be honest, I think bezels, I mean, they don't. If you are that kind of a person that gets annoyed by bezels, your standards are too high and you've never been without. That's all I'm gonna say. So 64 gigs or 128 gigs or 256 gigabytes. Um, has a Retina 1080p HD display. I'm pretty sure it's LED actually. Uh, so it has a 1,334 by 750 pixel resolution at 300 and around 330 pixels per inch, which is actually really good. Um, so yeah, it has a 1,400 by one contrast ratio. So that's just the standard. So. True tone, you know, obviously that kind of stuff. The haptic touch, which I never really got used to until now. Um, yeah, I am getting a case. Um, I recommend it because these are some these are very delicate devices. One drop and it's pretty much done for. Unless you got a case, then it becomes indestructible. <laughs> Not really. It has a 625 nit display which means it's very bright oh, I mean, I'm trying not to drop it but like whatever um, which is pretty pretty good you know you know all that kind of stuff it has the a13 bionic chip I'm trying to remember I'm looking it up um, what phone came out with that um, so yeah Okay, alright, so, okay, oh, okay, so this has a, the same specs as an iPhone 11 mini. Or, oh wait, is it the XR, or is it the iPhone 11? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty much it's the same thing as an iPhone 11 mini, same specs. Just about. It, it is pretty good. Um, it, it uh, I don't, I wouldn't trust rated IP67. Don't drop these in water. Um, and if you do, don't use rice, just cut it off when you drop it in water and dry it out with moisture packets, which you can buy on Amazon. Um, I don't recommend using rice because rice doesn't actually pull enough water. And if you go, oh, but it worked for me, just because <laughs> you're stupid. I hope the battery explodes in your pocket. Um, you're just, the more, uh, okay. So that only soaks up 30%. I made a video about this. That only soaks up 30% water as moisture packets will soak up 95 or more. I think they just do that so they don't get sued. Um, like, you know, you can even get them, at, you should get the one that are beads that you can rip open and put in a box. But if you don't, you can literally just go down to the store, buy Omeprazole or any other medicine and it'll be in there. So, um, yeah, 12 megapixels wide camera. So the camera on here isn't necessarily amazing but it is useful and it works um so yeah i mean it's just it's good <laughs> all right i'm gonna do a camera test now battery life is the same as every iphone so i'm gonna go ahead and just take a photo of my mouse here The one thing it does not have is stabilization. It has no stabilization. It says it does, but like if you really look on here, it's not any at all. All right, now I want to do one that's zoomed in. I mean, it's it's doable, all right? It, it, it works, okay? It works. But I wouldn't say it's top-notch quality or anything. All right, I'm gonna do a video test now. Ready? One, two, and okay. I'm gonna do fair lighting. I'm gonna leave this light on. Three. All right, guys. I am now 
recording on the iPhone SE. This is in full brightness. And yeah, this is what my camera looks like. Now, I'm gonna go in here. Oh, sorry for my trash can, I have to blur that. Let's see if I can go into the bathroom because it has like a lot of lights. This is the quality. This is the autofocus and good lighting. The autofocus is always pretty quick on, a phone, on these phones. Now with it zoomed in. Alright, that's zoomed in. This is zoomed out now. And I can actually get pretty close. This is just a single camera, by the way. So. I'm pretty sure this camera shoots up to 1080p. This is low light test now. Alright, it's actually doing pretty good. Um, I don't remember how much it can film. Or like, so yeah, it's pretty good. 4K video recording, except what I don't understand.